Okay, I previously graphed this triangle on the coordinate plane, so if you'd like to know how to do that, you're just going to want to go ahead and watch my previous video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to perform a reflection. So you're going to go to Menu, Geometry, Transformation, and then choose Reflection. Now, if you ever forget how to do this, you can simply hover over this um, little icon in the top left hand corner and it will tell you that you're first going to click on the object and then you're going to click on the line of reflection. So if I want to click, uh, if I want to reflect this triangle o over the um, y-axis, I would click the triangle and then I would click the y-axis and there is my reflection. If I want to undo that reflection, I can press Control z and it will undo it and I can do another one. So I can click the triangle and then I can click the x-axis and there I have my reflection. Now, um, if I want to get a little bit more complicated and I want to reflect it over a line, I'm actually going to have to construct that line. So for instance, let's say I wanted to reflect it across the line x equals 3. Um, what I could do is I could go to Menu, Geometry, Points and Lines, and I could add a line. So I said I'm going to graph it, uh, uh, reflect it across the line x equals 3. So I go to x equals 3, and I create a line right there. And now I can go to Menu, Geometry, Transformation, Reflection, and choose my triangle, and choose the line, and it does the reflection. If, for instance, you want to reflect it over a line such as y equals x or y equals negative x, you can't simply just um, graph it as a function and reflect it over that line. It can only be reflected over one of these geometrically constructed lines. So let me show you how you could do that. So let's say you know your student who knows exactly where the line y equals x is. You could do the same process where you go to geometry and go to points and lines and construct a line and choose some of the points that you know is on the line, for instance, y equals negative x. So if I knew that those were the points, then I could just reflect it over that line by clicking on the triangle and clicking on the line y equals negative x, and I have my reflection. But let's say you forgot where that line was. You can still graph it by pressing tab and entering the function in, and although you can't select that line, it gives you kind of a guideline for where it should be. So now I can go to Geometry, Points and Lines, and create a line right here using that as my guide. And go from there. Menu, Geometry, Transformation, Reflection, choose the triangle, choose the line, and there's my reflection. Um, I can do something similar with um, a horizontal line. So for instance, if I wanted to graph y equals negative 2 to see where that went, then I could create a, construct a line on top of it and select that line as the line of reflection. Okay, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to do rotation. So stay tuned.